Hey, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Ed, and we are Friendly Fires, and you're watching Speaker TV. Yeah, yeah, we had a new album this year, so, you know, it's been, been very busy. Yeah, it's, uh, it was called Parlour. It, yeah, it's, I think I, I definitely prefer it to the first one. And I'm not just saying that because it's our second record, but I really think that um, it was kind of a, yeah, it was a progression of our sound, and I think we sort of really discovered what we were about. Rather than kind of playing on the whole kind of DFA punk funk thing, we kind of moved into this realm that was uh, a bit more kind of unique to us. And like, uh, I mean, like, like with tracks like Jump in the Pool and Kiss of Life, we kind of took that style and pushed it as far as it could go. We're trying at the I think moment. If you, I think if you... Ah. We've done Australia a lot. Like, uh, this is definitely one of the places. We, I guess we do the US a lot, Japan. I mean, I don't know, like, basically everywhere but France. <laughs> French, <laughs> French, French hate us. They don't hate us. Like, they do. They're just, like, yeah. indifferent. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty indifferent, yeah. We wrote a song called Paris, and it's just... I think that, that was... Air the, pie. That was the Absolute air pie. Yeah, if you kind of show the French too much love, then they, uh... I suppose, it, yeah, it's a bit like kind of flattering someone so much that they get a bit scared by you. Yeah, And yeah. they stop liking you. From all the things you wear. We're off to Singapore um, straight away, and then we're off to Jakarta, Indonesia, and then we're off to South America. So we're doing quite sort of quite kind of exotic bit of touring, like coming up. You know, we've kind of we've done some Brazilian stuff on yeah, Kids of Life and stuff like that. We've always been embraced by the Brazilian audience. I mean, we, we wrote Kiss of Life, and that had a big samba drum troupe, and they weren't they weren't hating us. So yeah, they 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 kind of they were really enjoying it. I've, I've, all of our shows in Brazil have been. Uh, like proper vibing. Since I've been in Australia, I went to uh, the zoo in Sydney and I wanted to see uh, some just some frogs. Just really interested in frogs at the moment. I don't know why. Yeah, I just find them really fascinating creatures. I think they're really human-like. A lot of like my friends say that I look like a frog. I'm all up for uh, definitely kind of sampling some frog croaking noises. I think they can make some pretty bizarre sounds. Wow. My favourite one is a bullfrog. Wow. And it sounds it sounds pretty dubstep. It's like wow. I'm trying to remember what frog it is. There's a frog that sounds like a sheep being run through auto-tune. I think, yeah, we're kind of in this phase where we really want to work out what our next step is, I think. We don't want to do, like, another parlour. I think, if anything, it's going to be the opposite. I'd like to do something a lot more stripped down and raw and uh yeah not really dense and ultra bright so uh yeah i think before you see another album from us there'll probably be something that that maybe stands alone i think i think it's rather nice like i guess you know i think i think it's you know it's possible to do little one-offs that kind of get circulated around without it being a big release it's quite it's a nice way to sort of you know do do things that you kind of you know you you really love or that are just kind of like slightly whimsical or whatever yeah I suppose we did that with our first record we did a track with Azari and Third who were on this tour and we, we did like a cover thing with Holy Ghost so yeah yeah we we're kind of, at, kind of free reign to, to do what we want for a little bit
Secret TV.